Want to add a high quality business to your portfolio? Looking for safe, growing dividend income from a dividend aristocrat? Like the idea of buying a stock on sale? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before I get into today's content, please give us a big thumbs up if you find value in our videos. It helps us to get the word out and grow the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. And make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video for a special news announcement. I want to tell you about a high quality stock that pays big, growing, reliable dividends. These growing dividends are funded by growing profit because this business is providing millions of people with energy. Our modern day society requires cheap, reliable energy in order to function. We sometimes take this for granted until there's a problem. With energy shortages occurring throughout Europe and China right now, this has never been more apparent. And companies that provide that cheap, reliable energy are set to prosper from their necessity. And that should mean higher profits and bigger dividends over the long run. I personally invested in stocks just like this one on my way to going from below broke at age 27 to financially free at 33. By the way, I explain exactly how I achieved financial freedom in just six years in my early retirement blueprint. If you're interested, you can download a free copy of my early retirement blueprint using the link in the description of this video. Getting back to the stock I'll tell you about today though, perhaps best of all, it looks undervalued right now. Price is what you pay, but value is what you get. Why is that important? Because buying a dividend growth stock when it's undervalued should provide for a higher yield, greater long-term total return potential, and reduced risk. With this in mind, I wanna share with you an opportunity I recently came across in shares of Atmos Energy Corporation, which appear to be trading at a significant discount today. Atmos Energy Corporation stock ticker ATO is an American natural gas utility business serving more than 3 million customers across eight different states. Founded in 1906, Atmos Energy is now a $12 billion by market cap natural gas powerhouse that employs more than 4,000 people. The company reports results across two segments, distribution, 81% of fiscal year 2020 revenue, and pipeline and storage, 19%. A significant portion, about 70% of the company's profit is derived from Texas. The company distributes natural gas to nearly 2 million Texans and and it has a 5,700 mile gas transmission pipeline in Texas that spans several important shale formations. The company's big bet on Texas could serve them very well over the coming years. Texas is a business friendly state that is attracting a lot of corporate relocations from regulation heavy states such as California. Simultaneously and somewhat relatedly, Texas has been seeing a massive influx of new residents. Texas is one of the fastest growing states in the US in terms of its population growth. More businesses and households consuming more energy naturally bodes well for Atmos Energy, and that should translate to higher profits and dividends over the coming years. Already, Atmos Energy has increased its dividend for 37 consecutive years. They easily qualify for their status as a dividend aristocrat which requires at least 25 consecutive years of dividend increases. Their five-year dividend growth rate is 8.1% and the stock's current yield is 2.7%. This is a compelling combination of yield and dividend growth here. By the way, that market beating yield is 50 basis points higher than the stock's own five-year average yield and the dividend is protected by a moderate payout ratio of 47.3%. I love dividend growth stocks and what I refer to as the sweet spot. It's a yield of between 2.5% and 3.5% paired with a high single digit or better dividend growth rate, Atmos Energy is right in that sweet spot. Looking at business growth, Atmos Energy's revenue dropped from $4.3 billion in fiscal year 2011 to $2.8 billion in fiscal year 2020. A revenue shrinkage over a 10-year time frame isn't what any investor typically wants to see. However, a number of business sales and restructurings here make this straight line comparison impossible to make. Meanwhile, earnings per share increased from $2.27 to $4.89 over this period, which is a compound annual growth rate of 8.9%. We can see that Atmos Energy has been doing more with less, which is a sign of prudent management. We can also
also see where the high single digit dividend growth has been coming from. It's been a result of light earnings per share growth. Looking forward, CFRA is forecasting that Atmos Energy will compound its earnings per share at an annual rate of 8% over the next three years. This forecast is more or less in line with what the last decade has already proven out, so I don't see anything unreasonable or shocking here. A utility company's regulatory environment is always an important consideration for long-term investment. In this area, Atmos Energy shines. CFRA states this, and I quote, we see positive developments related to regulatory outcomes as increasing investments for grid modernization, as in pipeline repairs, service line updates, etc., continue to push the rate base higher, unquote. Moreover, CFRA cites, and I quote, favorable gas jurisdictions, unquote, to likely support growth moving forward. In addition, the company's reliance on and exposure to the fast-growing Texas market is almost certainly a boon for long-term business. I see nothing in the company's financial results or overall positioning that would lead me to question this base expectation for earnings per share growth, and this high single-digit earnings per share growth would support similar dividend growth, which is basically a continuation of the status quo. With a starting yield near 3%, I think there's a lot to like about that. Moving over to the balance sheet, Atmos Energy has a strong financial position. The long-term debt to equity ratio is 0.7, while the interest coverage ratio is almost 10. These are great numbers for a utility. Profitability is also robust with defined and steady improvement. Over the last five years, the firm has averaged annual net margin of 17.4% and annual return on equity of 10.8%. For perspective, net margin was in the mid-single digit range a decade ago. In my view, this dividend aristocrat has a lot to offer, and with local service territory monopolies, economies of scale, and difficult to replicate physical infrastructure, the company does benefit from durable competitive advantages. Of course, there are risks to consider. Litigation, regulation, and competition are omnipresent risks in every industry. A regulated utility business like this one has limited competition by its nature. However, the regulation is, in and of itself, heightened as a result of that. There is interest rate risk here. Rising interest rates could hurt in two ways. It makes the debt servicing more expensive, and it makes the stock's yield less attractive on a relative basis, which could put downward pressure on the stock. The continued push toward renewable and clean energy sources is a long-range risk for the business model. The regulatory environment is currently apparently favorable. Any changes in that relationship could be detrimental to the growth outlook, however. The business model also has black swan risks, including explosions and spills. With these risks stated, I still think this could be a great long-term investment for dividend growth investors. After correcting from its 52-week high of nearly $105 a share, the valuation only serves to reinforce my view. The stock is trading hands for a price to earnings ratio of 17.7. That's well below where the broader market is at right now. It's also significantly lower than the stock's own five-year average price to earnings ratio of 21.3. And the yield, as noted earlier, is materially higher than its own recent historical average. I value shares using a dividend discount model analysis. I factored in a 10% discount rate and a long-term dividend growth rate of 7.5%. This is a rational long-term dividend growth expectation from the business in my opinion. This dividend growth rate is lower than the company's long-term demonstrated earnings per share and dividend growth. It's also lower than the near-term expectation for earnings per share growth. And with the payout ratio being moderate, the company should be able to maintain high single-digit dividend growth for the foreseeable future and beyond. The dividend discount model analysis gives me a fair value of $107.50. The reason I use a dividend discount model analysis is because a business is ultimately equal to the sum of all the future cash flow it can provide. The dividend discount model analysis is a tailored version of the discounted cash flow model analysis as it simply substitutes dividends and dividend growth for cash flow and growth. It then discounts those future dividends back to the present day to account for the time value of money since a dollar tomorrow is not worth the same amount as a dollar today. I find it to be a fairly accurate way to value dividend growth stocks. Morningstar rates Atmos Energy as a four-star stock with a fair value estimate of $98. CFRA rates Atmos Energy as a three-star hold with a 12-month target price of $115. I came out roughly in the middle. Averaging the three numbers out gives us a final valuation of $106.83, which would indicate the stock is possibly 15% undervalued. Here's the bottom line, guys. Atmos Energy Corporation is a high-quality dividend aristocrat that is operating in a favorable environment for long-term growth. With market-beating yield, more than 35 consecutive years of dividend raises, a moderate pay ratio, high single-digit dividend growth, and the potential that shares are 15% undervalued, this is a name that dividend growth investors ought to consider 
consider for their portfolios. And now for a special news announcement, Verizon Communications Inc. stock ticker VZ just announced great results for its third quarter, cruising past earnings growth expectations and even raising its earnings guidance for this fiscal year. I've discussed why Warren Buffett has been buying up Verizon stock hand over fist. With these Q3 results, I think it's even more clear why the Oracle of Omaha loaded up. Take a look at Verizon if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did. And let us know in the comments what you think about this stock. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links, including the link to my personal stock portfolio. This six figure portfolio, which I call the Fire Fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I've made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon, and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who have been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time. <music>